Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my first ever fragrance review or fragrances list review. <laughs> I don't know, I was going to start this channel by doing a Livia Bell We review that was just released by Lancome, but I've gotten numerous comments and messages on both my Instagrams to do more men's reviews, talk about male fragrances that I really love. So I have a list here of my absolute top favorite fragrances on a man, fragrances that absolutely drive me crazy. Like if you walk by me wearing any of these fragrances, I'm gonna create a fantasy in my head I'm gonna think of you as like my future husband and t have 20 kids with you or something like I Love these fragrances and they are so sexy to me. So like I said, I've gotten so many requests to do uh, Male fragrances reviews if you have one in mind that you would like me to try Please leave a comment below. Let's jump into this list. The first one on my list is a recent favorite, it actually took a while to grow on me. I think that initially I was one of those girls, and I think it's typical for American girls to really like fresh fragrances, but I finally came around to liking more oriental. I'm hooked, you'll notice that most of these fragrances on this list are oriental scents, are spicy scents. The first one, I definitely did not like the first time I smelled it. I actually smelled it in a review with Jeremy Fragrance is Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb Extreme. So I smelled Spice Bomb in a video and I didn't like it and then my boyfriend would wear it and I didn't know that it was Spice Bomb and I just I remember just loving the scent. Finally, one day I saw the bottle on his counter and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Spice Bomb Extreme is just so sexy. Like, it makes me drool. Mm. <laughs> it's so nice. So, so nice. It's more of a winter scent. It's kind of amazing that he wears it in Miami, like, anytime. But I don't think he really knows it is a winter scent. I'm not gonna tell him because I like it. So I don't know if it's just me, but I was Googling these fragrances before filming this video, and I was having some trouble finding notes for some of them. I looked through a few different websites, and I couldn't find anything with, like, solid notes. But for this fragrance, I did find on Fragrantica. Fragrantica? <laughs> Am I saying that right? It says that lavender is mixed with caraway and black pepper, leaving a trail of hotness above masculine shades of tobacco and subtle, comfortable vanilla. Guys, leave a comment below. I'm a newbie. Where is the best website to find official notes of fragrances? Please help a girl out. The second fragrance, and I hate to admit it, but it is true. I have loved this fragrance for a long time long time ever since i got my first bottle like two years ago it is date for men by fragrance one hate on the man all you want his fragrances are really good it's really a shame that the brand is closing but i do understand why because i do think that while this is a really really sexy fragrance it's just way overpriced i think it's like 249 pounds for this 100 ml bottle on the fragrance one website it says it is a fruity oriental powerhouse and once again it was really hard for me to find the notes anywhere <laughs> the site says a clash of four fruits bergamot lemon mandarin juniper berry mixed with a clash of oriental sexual masculinity <laughs> um, notes of patchouli oud vetiver and cardamom and it is extremely sexy it's just it's almost a similar to office i know that on the website they say that you can l actually layer office and date but this one is just a little more sensual and this one is definitely more of a fresher scent than spice bomb but you still get a little bit of the spicy notes in there so the third fragrance on my list is actually kind of a controversial one i have seen a lot of different people say a lot of different things about this fragrance i really think it's sexy i really like this scent and that is tobacco oud by tom ford so there's something about it it's just so woodsy and deep with the top notes of whiskey and has middle notes of coriander and cinnamon. Okay, and there's a long base. And a base of tobacco, argar wood, which they said is oud, sandalwood, incense, patchouli, benzoin, vanilla, and cedar. So it's a really complex fragrance and I just think it's so warming and comforting and sexy. Panty dropper, I think. Fourth one, I actually have the Dossier version of this. I've worked with Dossier for a long time on my other YouTube channel, and this one is Fucking Fabulous by Tom Ford. And I'm allowed to say Fucking Fabulous because I'm not monetized yet. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. It's actually a unisex fragrance. I think women can pull this off. I think you have to be a very like edgy, cool girl kind of vibe, but I've definitely worn it, mostly for my own pleasure, but <laughs> I went on a date once with a guy. This was years ago. It was our first date. I just remember, we were sitting down at a restaurant and he got up, he said he had to use the restroom. So I was sitting down and he stood up and he leaned over me and he goes, do you like how that smells? And I was like, 
yeah I, I do and he looks me dead in the face and he goes it's fucking fabulous and I just that always stuck with me the next time I was in the store I went into like Macy's or something and I smelled it and I loved it it's a funny story for me and I think it's a really really nice scent I don't know I would say if you want something unique go for fucking fabulous but I know that it's been around forever but I don't ever see any other fragrance reviewers talking about it do you know why I don't, I don't think i've ever seen it on any sort of like top 10 fragrance reviews or anything like that is it because it's unisex i'm not sure but i personally really love it and i think it's super sexy and then the last fragrance that i have on this list for one of my all-time favorites is ch man by carolina herrera i actually discovered this one through jeremy fragrance it's fresher it's simpler but it's also unique like here's like your average fresh fragrance and then here's ch man like it's just a little bit different and to me i feel like if i smelled it on someone i think that they stand out i think that it's not the most average smelling scent so and i think it's very cool so the top notes in ch man is this grapefruit and lavender middle notes of saffron and cyclamen and base notes of cashmere and leather so it's a very interesting kind of combination but i think that it's very hot and if you were wearing it in front of me i would be very interested to know what you smell like and what fragrance you're wearing and I would definitely want to talk to you. So that is my list of some of my personal favorite scents on a man. I think these are insanely sexy and not that talked about. So if you want something that is a little more unique and not on every single top 10 list on the planet on YouTube, I definitely recommend you check these fragrances out thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed leave a comment below what your favorite fragrance is and maybe i'll do a video trying out your favorite fragrances i love you guys see you next time bye